Hello, and welcome to Overclockers UK TV. Today we're going to be looking at the latest release from NVIDIA, the GeForce GTX 780 Ti graphics card. This is NVIDIA's new flagship single GPU graphics card, and it takes over from where the GTX 780 left off. As you can see, it's a full-length graphics card, and it both requires a 6-pin PCI and an 8-pin PCI to fully power it. It also features NVIDIA's GK110 graphics chip, which is fully unlocked, unlike the previous generation of cards, which means it runs even faster than before. Utilising NVIDIA's power balance technology, you have a card that is also quieter, faster and cooler than before. Now to look at the specifications of the GeForce GTX 780 Ti. It has 2,880 stream processors, 240 texture units, 48 ROPs, a reference core clock of 875 MHz, a boosted reference core clock of 928 MHz, a reference memory clock of 7 GHz, a memory bus width of 384 bit, and 3 GB of VRAM. Here you can see how it stacks up against the mighty GTX Titan. So let's have a look at a couple of the outputs that the GeForce GTX 780 Ti has. As you can see, it has two DVI ports, a single display port, and a single HDMI. It's also compatible with NVIDIA's SLI and CUDA, and also the PhysX technologies, meaning you can use two, three, or even four-way SLI for ultimate gaming performance. The GTX 780 Ti also features 25% more CUDA cores than the previous GTX 780, meaning in CUDA-based applications, it's way faster. Now to put the GeForce GTX 780 Ti to the test. Here at Overclockers UK, we ran a series of benchmarks to find out the true performance of this graphics card. The first benchmark we ran was the UniEngine Valley benchmark, which scored an average FPS of 67.6 and an overall score of 2,828. We then ran the UniEngine Heaven benchmark, which scored an average FPS of 113.5, and an overall score of 2,859. We ran the new 3D mark Firestrike, which had an overall score of 9,958, and with a graphics score of 11,108. We then turned up the heat by running 3D Mark Firestrike Extreme, which has an overall score of 4,959 and a graphics score of 5,110. The final benchmark we ran was 3D Mark 11, which scored at a pass skill 14,505 points, with an overall graphics score of 14,711 points. We then decided to test the GeForce GTX 780 Ti for what it was designed to do play games. The results here are courtesy of our friends at BitTech. Firstly, they ran three separate games, Battlefield 4, Bioshock Infinite and Crisis 3. The first result is for Battlefield 4, with 4x AA, 16x AF, set to ultra detail settings. The score, 55 FPS minimum, with a 74 FPS average. Bioshock Infinite was then tested with ultra detail, which managed a 96 FPS minimum and a 112 FPS average. Finally, Crisis 3 was tested with 0 times AA and set at very high. The score was 61 FPS minimum and 73 FPS average. Upping the ante now, we now decided to test the games at the 4K resolution. First off, Battlefield 4 with 0 times AA, 16 times AF, on ultra detail settings, managing 23 FPS minimum and a 36 FPS average. Bioshock Infinite was tested again with ultra detail, scoring 30 FPS minimum and a 34 FPS average. Crisis 3 was tested yet again with 0 times AA and on very high settings, with an 18 FPS minimum and a 22 FPS average. As you can see, the GeForce GTX 780 Ti performs extremely well 
when pushed under load, even at the insane 4K resolution. In fact, the GeForce GTX 780 Ti outperforms the GTX Titan in 99% of all games and applications. We stock a range of cards from a variety of manufacturers, including Asus, EVGA, Gamewood, Gigabyte, KFA2, Inno3D and MSI. For more information, check out the links in the description below, and that's all from me.